Hey, if you were to ask me, hey, Dr. Allen, what is the best contact lens for someone with keratoconus? I would answer easy. Those are scleral lenses. But hey, if you're somebody who is either new to the diagnosis of keratoconus or you don't know anything about sclerals, that's okay because in today's video, we're gonna break down everything you need to know about scleral contacts. Plus, we'll be sharing some tips that'll make wearing scleral lenses a lot easier and some tips that'll even save you money. So smash that like button and let's take a look. Hey guys and shine, Dr. Allen here from the Dr. I Health Show, helping you see your very best today and also tomorrow. Now, if you're somebody who's never heard of scleral lenses before, scleral contact lenses are known as the large contact lenses, and they differ from soft contact lenses in that they are also a gas permeable material. They are not soft and flimsy and can turn inside out. No, these are more of a rigid contact lens that holds its shape. The reason they are called scleral contact lenses is because where other lenses like the soft lenses or gas permeable contact lenses like RGPs, those ones typically rest on the cornea. They make physical contact with the front window to the eye. But scleral lenses, they rest on the white outer part of the eye that we call the sclera. And because of this lens design, the scleral lens can completely vault over that irregular cone that we see with the diagnosis of keratoconus. And ultimately, this provides some really excellent benefits. Which brings us to our first fact that you need to know about, and that's that scleral lenses typically offer excellent eyesight and vision. Scleral contact lenses often give superior eyesight and vision because these lenses are filled with a saline solution that is then applied to the front surface of the eye. And that saline solution basically fills in all the warpage of the cone and then gives us almost a perfect engineered front surface to the eye. And because of this, along with the fact that these lenses can be engineered with the needed power for you to see your very best, they can eliminate glare halos, and any distortions that you may see because of an irregular cornea. I've personally had patients in my office break down and cry out of joy because they have never seen as good as I've been able to get them with a scleral contact lens. The second thing you need to know about sclerals is that they also have an extra benefit if you happen to be somebody who suffers from dryness and irritation of your eyes. Again, because these scleral lenses are filled with a saline solution, which is applied to the front surface, it's basically bathing the front of your eye in your tears. And this can be really helpful for people with dry eyes and other healing issues on the surface of their eyes. So you kind of get a double whammy, not only better vision, but also helping treat dry eyes at the same time. And fact number three is that because these lenses are made of a rigid gas permeable material, if they're well taken care of, and assuming your prescription doesn't change very much, then these lenses can last a long time. In fact, they can last multiple years, again, if they're well taken care of. Now, while scleral lenses have all these amazing benefits, there are some downsides to getting fit with these lenses that I think you should know. The fourth fact about scleral lenses is that these lenses take a lot longer time to fit. Scleral lenses are in fact a 100% custom fit lens for you and each of your eyes. Because the fit of scleral lenses is so technical and the fact that your doctor has to have it fit on each quadrant of your eye just right and then the prescription of the lens has to be adjusted and the height of the lens has to be adjusted, there's a lot of just small calculations that need to be made. I think it's just wise to understand it's going to take a little bit longer for not just your doctor to get all the proper measurements but then to order the lens, have it custom made for you, have it shipped back and then your doctor to fit it on your eye, make more adjustments adjustments, and it's not unusual for that to have to take a few tries. But again, it is a custom item, so just understand and expect that it's not going to be like an overnight fitting process. It's going to take a little bit of time. Fact number five is that scleral lenses are, in a very general sense, a little bit more tricky to get in and take off of your eye. Because scleral lenses are of larger diameter and filled with a saline solution, they're a bit more tricky to get into the eye than like your standard soft contact lenses. And in my experience, I do see a lot of people just struggle early on with learning how to put them in and take them out, but that's exactly why I went ahead and made a tutorial video of how to put in scleral lenses. And if you do want to watch that, go ahead and click or tap the screen up over here to the side. Otherwise, again, I'll put it in the description below, below that like button. Fact number six is to expect that these contact lenses are going to be more expensive. Because they are a custom fit and made lens and that your doctor has to have specialized training and take a lot longer time to fit that lens, just expect that it's gonna cost more. 
I'll tell you from the insights of the business, depending on the manufacturer of the lens and the type of lens that's needed to fit somebody's eye, scleral lenses, just getting them from the manufacturer can cost anywhere from maybe the low end of about 200, 250 US dollars, all the way up to like $500 just to have one lens made. So after everything is said and done, your doctor finally has the perfect scleral lens fit for you in order for them to order that lens and have you keep that lens, don't be surprised when the price of that whole experience ends up costing anywhere from like 1,500 up to like maybe $3,000. I can't give out exact price ranges because it may depend on where you go to and what lens is needed for your eyes, but I'm just trying to give a general ballpark so that you, you understand what, what you're gonna be getting into and what you're investing in. But my pro tip to you is to check with your medical insurance policies and any vision discount plans that you may have, especially if they're offered through an employer, because a lot of these plans do have specialized discounts or coverage for medically necessary contact lenses. And if you happen to be somebody with keratoconus or really advanced irregular astigmatism, then oftentimes you may qualify under these programs and you may get these lenses completely covered by these insurances. And fact number seven is that scleral lenses do require more care and maintenance to take care of those lenses. Scleral lenses are made of a gas permeable, more rigid contact lens material. So they're not like the soft lenses like I wear that I could just take them out at night and put a new one in the next day. No, these lenses have to be taken out, cleaned and disinfected. And depending on what lens your doctor chooses for you and what will work best with your eye health, your doctor may recommend one of the several different cleaning and disinfecting products for those lenses on the market. So if you're not sure what your doctor recommends for you, definitely ask them or a staff member at their clinic. So those are the seven facts about scleral contact lenses for keratoconus that I thought you needed to know about. Let me know in the comment section which one of these helped you out the most or you found was the most interesting. Otherwise, it's important to know that perhaps you're one of those few people where scleral lenses are not, in fact, recommended for you. It is possible your eye doctor could recommend that soft contact lenses work just fine with your mild keratoconus, or perhaps a hard RGP, rigid gas permeable lens would be better, or perhaps even a combination of a soft contact lens with a hard contact lens on top of it. We call that piggybacking. As always, definitely contact your local eye care provider to find out what is best for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the diagnosis of keratoconus or surgical treatments to halt and stop the progression, check out our playlist.